There you go. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. Oh, it's not <laughs> Thursday, though. It's Tuesday. Um, first things first, let's check sound and video. Um, so if you're watching, today is Tuesday and we're live. I'm out of town. Hang on. I got video. Oh, so if you're watching, I have sound too. So that's good. So anyways, if it's Tuesday today and you're watching, this is live. I'm out of town on Thursday. So I'm going to replay this exact one on Thursday. So if you're watching on Thursday, this is recorded from Tuesday. I'm going to try and I'm not sure what I'm exactly going to be doing at that time. So I'll try and watch comments, but I don't think I'll be able to sit there and watch comments the whole time. So, um, yeah, if you're watching on Thursday and you're missing a piece, you do need to email me though. Info, I-N-F-O at thepapercut.com or Sarah at thepapercut.com with an H. So let's go down to the table and we'll get started right away. All right, you're there. I'm still farting around. <laughs> My mom's still farting around. <laughs> She's trying to figure out where we're going. But let before we get to cards, today is Tuesday, the day that we normally post for Crafter's Classroom. Now, my last month's crafters classroom, I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat that one for a little while because that one was insanely popular. Um, and we ran out of time. So on Saturday, we didn't get to this card. So next week, Thursday, when we do our live, I'm actually going to do this as one of my cards. And then I'll probably do another card too. But I just want to go through this fractured card because we didn't get to it on Saturday. So I have that one in here. Um, next month, I don't have all the cards done. Shocker, I know. Um, but this is what I am doing. I'm using this stamp set from Impression Obsession. This is one of the cards. And so you will have the option to buy the stamp set with the kit. If you have, you know, some little solid -y type flowers that you want to do, that's fine. You don't have to, or you can order just the paper only kit. And it's going to be other fun colors. I just started with this one. Um, so, and there's some little gold up here. So like on this one, for example, you know, you'll get it with the With Sympathy on it and we're going to brush blend. So we're going to brush blend a lot of like different circles and you're going to get some templates with different size circles um, and it could be a different shape too um, but then we'll actually be doing stamping most of the stamping will be in black or some lighter colors because some of these other elements right here i might use as do some lighter colors um, or like this one i did gold and you could emboss it if you wanted to but anyways that's going to kind of be the theme of the class is this stamp set right here that you can order the paper only kit or the complete set with the stamps. So, and we'll actually do some stamping. So let's see where we're at. Okay, there we go. Um, so, and I will get that, I'm going to try and get more of them done tomorrow and then also work on my fun time Thursday for next month, which I have a few things jotted down, but no, I don't have it designed. <laughs> so anyways, let's go on to our cards. Um, we are doing our two gal cards and our two guy cards. And I think we're going to start with this one because this one's going to take us the longest. So if you're doing it with me, pull out your kit that looks like this. Um, and this one is our peekaboo steno card. So it's our peekaboo steno card. So the same size window and overlay <clears throat> that cuts the peekaboo trifold card. This one is just a little bit different. So we have we'll go through what we have in the kit first and then we will um, get started so in our kit you should have a steno card and 
this other little card that's like your <clears throat> insert type card. Now, as a set, we do sell the steno window card with this little card on the inside and then envelopes. It actually comes in a package that's like that. So, um, and then for overlays, you have a whole little baggie of stuff. You have two black circles. You have two word circles, but you really only need one. You have a printed, this is from our new daisy pack. And then you have a piece of, um, that's canary. Um, then you have a layer of canary and another printed paper from our daisy pack. That's gonna end up actually going on here. <clears throat> then you have your two overlays. Now this is one of our, like our peekaboo window overlays. This one we die cut with the die. <clears throat> then you have another couple words and just a swatch of black and a swatch of that that we're gonna cut. So let's get to starting assembly. Where do I wanna start? Okay, let's just start with the card front. That's a pretty good place to start. So sometimes you get little sniblets around here because this one was die cut with a little die. So we're first going to attach our printed overlay onto our black overlay. I usually use a narrower tape gun for that because um, these are pretty narrow right here, these three borders. I was thinking for my next month, fun time Thursday of doing all peekaboo stuff. I, I don't know, because I've been <clears throat> doing a lot of peekaboo stuff lately, so I didn't know if you were all sick of that. Um, so that was one of my thoughts. But I do want to do in our fun time Thursday next month some more, you know, different folds or different mechanical type cards, because I haven't done those for a little while. And we're definitely not doing that in Crafter's Classroom. Then I have the ribbon on it, so you're going to pull the little ribbon out of the packet. <clears throat> so pull the little ribbon out. And I did tie it into a bow on the front. Now it is plenty long. This I consider like this slippery ribbon. So <clears throat> sometimes I do like taping this like on the back, just so it kind of stays in place. So I think I'm gonna put a strip of tape back there. Okay. And you don't have to if you're comfortable with the ribbon, but this one is plenty long. but I did offset it onto one side. And sometimes even when I'm done with this, I like to put a little bit of adhesive underneath just cause it's kind of a slippery little sucker. And if I do have trouble with getting this ribbon tied, sometimes I will just um, attach a bow on, but we'll see if I can actually do it. Well, not as tight as I want it. So I'm going to try one more time. Of course, I don't have a bow maker. Mm. <laughs> do you mm. have a bow maker? I don't know. I was just thinking about that. I used to have one. I don't know if I do anymore or not. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's probably with my fingernails that I can't get them tied decently. I can't type today either. Keyboarding is hard for me as my nails get longer. So I think I'm going to whack them off. <laughs> There. Well, I at least got it so it's tighter, but let's see if I can get my bow fairly decent. And sometimes I'll even put a little bit of adhesive like under like if I want my tails to be the right way because this tail is not the right way. So I might futz with that a little bit later. Or I'll futz with it now. 
But yeah, if I if I can't, then yeah, sometimes a little dab of glue will do ya. Much quieter since we're on Tuesday night. Oh my gosh, it Thursday. is quiet. But use tweezers. Good yeah, idea. Good Nancy. idea. Okay, so we're going to turn that over. We're going to put tape on the back. Now I can use my half inch tape gun. <clears throat> so, yeah, I will try to check in on Thursday and answer any questions if there are. Normally we don't have too many questions. So this is going, this is the front of our steno card with the window on the bottom. So it's a steno card because it's up at the top like the little steno books. And that is going on the front. And sometimes it's easier to see when you're on a piece of colored paper. So let's see. I'm only putting this back there just so it so I could see the yellow in there so I could see my white border. Alrighty. Okay. There. We're done with that. So now we have our little one that goes on the inside. So that's gonna go through here. So we're going to first layer, let's bring our sample to there. So we're going to first layer our um, yellow and our black printed. I'm going to layer the black printed on the yellow first and then I'm going to layer them both on the front of the card. First, I'm layering my black printed daisies. Now, this is from our new daisy printed paper pad. Um, I was pretty good about getting them actually done before I used them, which I haven't always been good about that. Actually, I've never been good about that, so, <laughs> so at least this time I actually did it. And then I'm going to layer it on the card. Now, it depends. Like, if you wanted to open it up this way, you you can. I like to open it like a book. And then I'm not going to attach these things in here until I actually attach this inside the card, which it does. There's a slight border all the way around it. So you're just going to layer that on the inside of the card. And like I could put like a black piece of paper back here if I wanted to offset it or yellow because um, right now I have white on white um, but that's okay so I'm going to put it on the back of the card and attach it. It's weird saying I'm putting tape on the back of the card and attaching it onto the inside of another card. But that's what we're doing. So I'm going to attach that and it's centered. All right, now let's go, before putting this bulk on here, let's go to the inside of this card. So we're going to open it up. We're going to open this card up. Um, first, let's set out our circles. So we first need a yellow circle and a black circle. And then for the, and then we need our little well, flowers. But for the inside, we need one of these big printed circles and a black circle. And you can either do the Happy Mother's Day or you can do this one that says Sending Lots of Love. And then you have where you could do Happy Birthday or Happy Mother's Day because it's Sending Lots of Love and Wishing You A. So whichever one you want to do. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do this one because I kind of liked having the two verses instead of just the Happy Mother's Day. So... Now, I'm going to layer these on here, and I did not pop them up with um, foam tape, but I am going to layer them together first before putting them inside the card. So, let's get tape on those. So, tape 
on there. And if you want to pop it up, you could, but I'm not because it's already, you know, you've already got a little bit of bulk in there. So I'm just going to go flat. Now to get this one, and you're really never going to see it this way, but if you did want it perfectly centered, what I like to do is put tape on the back of here and then you can actually like hold it in your window and go down. Or what I normally do is I put tape on the back and then I just kind of look at it and then set it down. So, oh, my finger started to cramp up a little bit. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, so, and I might have that problem all night. I don't know. Because it's been doing it lately when I've been like riding my bike. My oh. fingers have been like falling asleep and cramping a little bit. And do, they, do they go like this? They kind of bend. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody said I have like, because um, for, for a while it was just this one and I would have to like push it. Somebody said I had like trigger finger. Uh, I don't think so. So I don't know what it is. But so yes, you can <clears throat> set it in there like that. Could be. And then I'm not set it down. So. <laughs> or you can kind of just slide it in there and look at it. Again, you're not going to see it closed like that anyways. Because it's, you know, somebody's going to open the card and go like this and then go like that. They're not going to like then shut that to see if you were centered. So if it's not perfectly centered, it doesn't matter. So sorry if I'm like futzing with my hand today. Um, I haven't had this problem for a while. One year at the warehouse sale, I was having it constantly, and people were bringing me, like, pickle juice and all different <laughs> yeah, stuff as, like, a home remedy. Um, so these two pieces, well, first you're going to decide which one you're going to use, but you're going to cut a little black border out of this piece of black. But before you do that, I cut a piece of the printed and then a piece to back it. Now, it doesn't really matter what size you use, but if you want the exact, so I had about five, five eighths of an inch for this piece, the printed one, and then almost three quarters, a little bit shy of three quarters for the black one, just if you want something to go off of. And I think I had them cut, yes, I have them cut the exact width. But you're going to want to cut that off before you start chopping it up to go behind here in case you forget. Sarah, did you want me to post a link for steno cards on here? Um, well, it's it's the peekaboo steno. Okay. So it's peek-a-boo space steno if you're searching. It's peekaboo peek steno card set, yes. right? Yeah. All right. Or you could have just start search for steno and they probably yeah, come up just as yeah, easy. Yeah, it came up there too. Yep. that piece and then the next one so that's I'm going to layer those together then while I have my little paper trimmer out and even if I screwed it up I could um, I'm sure there's plenty but I'm going to cut my verse too Magnesium supplements will help. Yeah, true, true. Hmm. So I have oh, to. Who said that? Um, hope. Hope. Okay. I've been, you know, I'm doing my bike thing in July, so I've been biking a lot, and I just didn't know if I was like lacking something from all of the sweating that I've been doing. No doubt. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. So, who knows? Changed your activity, you're going through those. So, and then you have an extra little verse if you want one. It goes into my grab bag pile. And then, yes, if I cut this one a little bit too narrow, which I might have, I could always use this one for that one, and then I have a spare piece. 
And I showed this on Saturday. I sometimes like to attach and then cut because sometimes it's easier for me to do that than measure it. So that I'm going to try redoing that for this one. Magnesium supplements. That's one that I don't have, so I'll have to write that down. Okay, so I'm going to trim this after, and then I can kind of see what I'm trimming. Kind of, sort of. Somebody said, somebody commented that if, like for the fractured class, how my blade got kind of gummed up, she said put it on your, put the adhesive on your layer, and then when you cut off the stuff that's hanging on the outside, it doesn't have adhesive on it. Like if you put adhesive on your main layer like this, mm -hmm. and then your stuff that's sticking off that needs to be trimmed doesn't have adhesive on it. Oh, I thought that was a brilliant idea. That is good. So it's always nice to hear what other people have to say because it kind of gives you an, oh, one of those moments. Yes. Like, oh. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, aha. Uh -huh. So Kirsten, you've seen this card now, Mom, so I can't give you this card for Mother's Day. Oh, I'm not looking. I'm not watching. <laughs> not watching. But, well, I always have Kirsten. I could give it to Kirsten, too. Yes. Okay. All righty. So we're doing actually pretty good. So this can go down here and you could actually make this like I didn't think about it oh it's it's close to even but I can make these even if I want to so let's attach them and then we'll attach this one um, there is we do need a yellow marker To, if I want to line this up, I need to kind of turn it so I can see. Oh, and if it is sticking out a little bit, because mine is, I'm just going to trim a hair off of there. Okay, so now we have that. It is today. Today is the 16th, isn't Today's it? Today is the... Um, yes, it is. So let's go ahead and attach these layers on the front, and then we'll just butts with our flowers last. So this one <clears> can <throat> actually go through the hole. So we have our card totally shut here, our inside card, our front steno card, and we can attach our yellow circle right through the window, our black circle attached to that. Now, if you want to pop these up, you certainly can. The flower is where I popped, though. Laura Siegel says she takes magnesium and hasn't had her fingers get stuck for quite a while. Oh, really? Good to know. Okay. Is there a certain, like, milligrams? Like, I'll just go to Walgreens, and I'm sure they have it in a bottle, and I'm sure it's probably pretty standard, but... You could go to Costco or I could pick some up oh, at Costco, Costco tomorrow. Yeah. So this is just extra. So how many miles a day are you biking now, Sarah? Well, it's kind of by the week. So like I have shorter days, like this this week it's 75 miles. So yesterday and today I both did 15. Tomorrow I'm going to try and get in 15. And then I'm at Spring Bling, so then I'm going to try and do two mornings of just five each. And then I'll have to do... Ooh, I think that'll leave me 20 miles. How will you miles. do it when you're at Spring Bling? And we're at the hotel. Oh, oh <laughs> well, yeah, I never thought about that. I guess. Oh, I could, I could do it then, too. <laughs> well, there's only one Peloton, usually. I get the Peloton. <laughs> you can have, okay. a, different, you That's can okay. have a different piece of equipment. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, 
So. Nature's Way. Yeah, Nature's Way. Costco carries Nature's Way, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. I might have you pick me some up. So now let's get our stuff out. So yes, I am going to bike a little. So I think I'm supposed to do a 25 mile ride. Um, but I mean, the longest I, last week I think it was 20 and I did a 22 um, on Sunday, but I did have a little break. I came into the office and I worked for a little bit and then I um, went and did another went and did another 14 so but they were saying people because i'm on this group were saying that the towns like that you go through are about every 10 miles so they're like if it's hot you can stop oh nice yeah so this first one i just attached flat oh no mm. this one i popped up sorry so yes, I'm at my longest rides right now are 20 to 25 miles. I think yeah. it's supposed and you, to be And you biked outside yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I biked outside. Cute. My one knee hurts outside. Really? And it doesn't hurt on my Peloton. And so I don't know if it's the seat height or, or the shoes I'm wearing. Because I wear my clip pedals for some and then so. And if you want to bend these up a little, you can. Like, I'm sure you can bend them up with different tools. I just use my fingers. Oh, the other thing that I've been doing, which if some of you watch on Thursdays, I have been watching an eagle nest. And the eagle nest that I'm watching, like I go in person and watch it, um, has babies. So with the spotting scope that I have, I can see them if they pop their heads up. So it's kind of cool. So, so I think they're, I'm estimating about two weeks old right now. Because I the first day I saw them was on Easter weekend. So this one I did attach flat, up to you, if you want to attach it flat or popped up. Pennsylvania, one of the Pennsylvania nests. Oh, I know. Yeah, you know, sad, Ooh. sad, yeah. sad. But the, and that's not the usual parents that we see in Pennsylvania either. So that's a different pair in that nest now. No, boo. I thought there was another one too in West Virginia that was a bad situation. Nature has its way of doing things and yeah. we just don't understand sometimes. So we're gonna color, like I colored this big one yellow and then on the inside, I colored these two yellow also. So the three circles I colored yellow. So yeah, the nest that I watch, I know there's two eaglets, and there's a guy that watches the nest, you know, usually when I'm not there, but he asked me if he could come and look through my spotting scope, and he's like, yep, there, because I think he doubted that there's actually two up there when I told him that, because he's been doing it for a lot of years, and I haven't. Um, so then he was like, you're right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> and I almost, well, I did tell him that there could be three, but my, it could be my eyes playing tricks on oh, me. Oh, Laura Siegel said the eagle nests, the eagle eggs are gone. They never hatched and the crows probably. Yeah, anything. in California, the eggs never hatched but I yeah. just love that nest anyways because the parents are so fun to watch. Um, actually, Laura, um, Jackie, which is the mom eagle, she came in and broke up one of the eggs and ate it. Um, but there was nothing in it. So it never developed. But yeah, she did come and get rid of one of them. Oh, it's circle of yep. life, man. They yep. need to eat. Yep. The view of the lake is gorgeous. Oh, it is. Yep. Does your grandson watch the eagles? When I turn them on, he does. He'd rather watch tractors, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or construction vehicles. That's his new thing. Construction vehicles. Um, so, let's see. Oh, I'm not missing one. So, I did glue 
the yellow ones into here and here and then into there. So I'm going to put some glue down. And you can pop up. Like I did not pop up my yellows on there. I mean, ego watching, I just started it a couple years ago. It's really kind of cool. I, and I'm kind of addicted to it. But it's really fun to do it in person. Last year, Laura saw the eagle, the crows eat the two eggs. She yeah. was so sad. Yeah, oh. I saw that one too. Oh. But I don't think there was, oh, th those weren't viable ones either. Yeah. It's, it's animals. They have a way of knowing that, don't they? Mm -hmm. Those birds. <clears throat> but these two did not want to give up. They sat on the nest weeks past when they should have hatched. So, but I wish I could get some pictures. That's my next thing. I'm trying to get some pictures. There, there is no camera up there, huh? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a camera, but it's not quite good enough. Yeah, but... <clears throat> So where is that one that you're watching? Down and, that way. Okay. Down in Little Shoot. Okay. Okay. So I did pop up my bottom flower. I used glue on my second flower. I used glue on my center, and then it has the gem. Nice. Very cute. And then on the inside... Oh, now I'm watching it. Now I'm looking at it. Oh, that's okay. I'll <laughs> give this one to Kirsten. Okay. Um, I didn't actually use this this leaf, so if you want to use that leaf somewhere, you can. Um, and I did this piece down and this piece down, and then I popped up the other flower. So let's do that. If you're going to spring bling and anybody wants to join me, I'm going to be doing some different <laughs> things. No, I'm not doing cards. Yeah. I'm, I'm doing bell, belly, belly, belly bands. Belly bands. Is anybody that's on tonight going to Spring Bling? Are we going to, or is anybody at Spring Bling? That's what we should say because yeah. they would already be there. But yes, that's where we're going Thursday, Friday, and then we're coming back home on Saturday. Because then I've got a small group coming into the warehouse Saturday. <coughs> Laura, then, Laura says she hopes Jackie isn't too old at 10 years to conceive. Do you know if eagles get menopause? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. My mom's going to look it up, though. Well, I am. But I think Harriet at the Florida nest, I think she was pretty old. Like, I thought they were saying, like, she was, like, I want to say in her high 20s. And she had eggs, and then she disappeared. And I'm thinking she was just old. The short answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go through the long yeah. answer. So, anyways, that is our, and like I said, there's one extra leave in here. If you want to put it in there, wherever, you sure can knock your socks off. Um, but that is our peekaboo steno card. My, my um, ribbon is, or my little extra leave is going into my extras pile. Which will go into grab bags. So let's do this one next. We'll get the two girl ones. Let's see. Oh, uh, well, human menopause is very unusual. Unlike the vast majority of animals, human women can live decades after no longer being able to give birth. So we're the odd ball. Oh. <clears throat> So. We, we share this trait with a handful of whales, elephants, and fellow primates. Oh, there you go. That is your learning, your nature learning section for the night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we could get into this a little deeper, but we won't unpack it anymore. Done. If you want to look, there's answers out there. So At least we, you don't have to go to Encyclopedia Britannica like we had to do. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having those. Um, so you have your scored card, you have your layer, you have um, this, which is bigger than what you need. Um, we just had those back there, and I just told Becky to, um, you know, do them at that size. 
and you guys are going to end up with a big hunk of white extra yay um, you can punch these out or not punch them out totally up to you on this one they're punched out but I think I'm just going to leave those <laughs> because they're in there and I could poke them all out but I just don't feel like it um, and then you have a piece of green and a piece of yellow and you have your oh and a big piece of white let's do some of our big layering first and then we'll get on to the cutting so we can layer these bigger ones first actually we do need to cut that one uh, Sarah I'm scanning through some questions here okay so actually, what do you mean by CC CC crafters classroom okay crafters yes. classroom okay did I say CC? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but CC is Crafter's Classroom. So first we're going to cut this to about, you can make it as wide as you want. But my Oh, Mona Mona said she doesn't think anyone posts on Tuesdays anymore for Crafter's oh, Classroom. Oh, Crafter's Classroom. For CC. She She's, said CC. Yep. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I am going to post tomorrow, and I'm going to finish my cards and then post. But it will be that stamp set. And then some... They're, they'll kind of be on the verge of clean and simple. Um, there will be brush blending and um, stamping. You're actually going to do stamping in my class. <laughs> so seven eighths of an inch by for the by it's this width right here, and that's up to you. It can be this width. See on mine. Mm -hmm. I did it just to the outside of the white, but if you want to extend it all the way to the outside of the yellow, because then you it brings it all the way to the white, that's up to you. Mine just goes to the edge of the white. So you're going to cut this to seven eighths of an inch. I know Mitra's not doing May for Mona. If she's anybody that's doing Crafters Classroom. Uh, Mitra's not doing May because she's traveling. Um, and Jennifer is so busy with spring bling, I bet she's not posting. Um, so I am just going to see kind of where I want it to <clears throat> fall. So yeah, if you like, I'm going to start it at one of my, from one of the downs. I'm going to start at one, two, three. And then I'm going to put it right next to here and then look at where I want to trim it. And I'm just going to kind of take my fingernail and Oof. now I have to remember when I turned it around. And I can always trim a little bit off later. Oh, perfect. Wow. Doesn't happen very often that good. Couldn't have done it again if I tried. You are good, Sarah. Scott. I'm a good eyeballer. Okay. Better to be lucky than good sometimes. If you can't be good, be lucky. Yep. So we're <clears> going <throat> to attach our um, white piece to our yellow piece and then to our card front. Our um, This is again from our daisy pack. It goes on there with a little bit of a border. So let's just start attaching. So my white metallic layer to the yellow. I think I put canary on there and I think it's actually, oh it is canary. This is um, <coughs> sunshine I think it's called, or sunflower. I think that's sunflower, you can tell a little bit of a difference. Ooh. I started to question myself Yeah. whether that was canary or not because they look great together because they're like the next shade. But um, for a minute there, I thought that I put the wrong color. So yeah, just this is sunflower and this is canary that we're working with. But yeah, the tones work really well together if you need something that's just really close in shade. And then your green daisy one, you're going to kind of attach, and there's going to be a small border around your three sides. So a small border around your three sides. Sometimes it's good to just lay it out before you actually start taping. All right. 
right and now we have the one that we trimmed and this is totally up for you it can be up higher it can be down lower um, totally up to you where you want your top edge to fall and like these words they could overlap down a little bit if you wanted them to so I'm gonna do it closer to the top edge of that daisy paper to offset it just slightly and I did attach that one just straight down with adhesive now with foam tape because we'll do the popping on our words oops I got some adhesive on my fingernails doesn't always come off of Gel. polished fingernails yeah. And then we can attach that to our card front. And sometimes I'll open my card to attach it just because then I'm not fighting the fold. All right, there we go. And then you can pick your words so whatever words you want to use leah will probably ask me for a mother's day card to give to me and i always tell her no <laughs> so, you tell her to come in and do her own shopping and yeah. out of your stuff <laughs> she could pick a different card she could get some input from josh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll do the mom one. I'll do best mom ever in case she comes in and steals a car. <laughs> Come on. And you can color the hearts red or you can do them yellow. I did them yellow because they matched. Or pink. Or pink. Or green. The limey green, mm. which is, I think... I'm going to try and get my nails done next time to kind of match that paper. <laughs> Diane DeBeer says, Mom here doing her card too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someday we'll go back and we'll laugh at all those things because when we had Bogey's Celebration of Life, we pulled out a bunch of cards <laughs> that, that... That I made. Th that you made, that, that the kids sent to him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Dave was always the one who said, from your favorite kid, <laughs> from the best kid ever. That's what he thought. Yeah, I know. <laughs> My yellows are running out, which made me go out of the lines. But that's okay. If Leah's going to give it to me, I'll forgive her that she went out of the lines. <laughs> you could leave it. You make her. You put a note inside that card, Sarah, that says, if you want to give me this card, Leah, you have to color the hearts. You have to color the flowers. So I did make this piece wide enough to do a small border. And I left it. I didn't cut it because I didn't know which word you were going to use. So... Keep going to keep growing. So yeah, this doesn't have to be a Mother's Day card. It could be whatever you want it to be. So this one I am just going to attach <laughs> flat. Then I'll use foam tape. Maybe I'll put a post-it note on it. Because she asked me for a baby card. Like just as I was driving here, she needs a baby girl card. Um, and I told her I'd drop one off at her house tomorrow when I go let the dogs out or bring the dogs here. So I think I'll put a post-it note on it and said, do you need a Mother's Day card? <laughs> She'll laugh at that. Yeah, she will. Because <laughs> other years she's asked me for a card. And I'm like, I'm not making my own Mother's Day card. <laughs> Leela. What a Leela. What do the boys do? Um, well, Josh will ask me for a card, Jake. If I get any card from Jake, I'm happy. Yeah. yeah, of course. But Josh will be like, he'll chime in too. Well, you got one for me? 
<laughs> or he'll just pull a card. He'll pull whatever card and just write Happy Mother's Day in it. So now I'm going to pop that up. I did a very small border. This one has a little bit bigger border. Up to you, whatever you want to do. You do you, man. Women. Oh, I probably shouldn't. I should probably be a little bit conservative with my foam tape. Are you running out? No, I'm not running out, but I have it packed in my spring bling stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, no, I think I have some I have some more out there. So, okay. But I do am taking, because I'm doing a make and take there. It's a magic card with a cute little gnome from um, Impression Obsession. And um, then I asked Jennifer, I'm like, well, are, are we just hanging out or what, <laughs> what do we do? And she's like, I was like, do we bring stuff to do? And she said, she said, yeah, whatever you want. So I still have cards from my retreat that I did last weekend. Um, or was it last weekend? No, it was two, two weekends, weekends ago, ago. <clears throat> that aren't put together. So I'm bringing that whole bucket because I still have it sitting at home at my house. And so, yeah, I'm going to put finish up more cards from my retreat. Or they can make a belt. <laughs> or make a belt. <laughs> make a belt. <laughs> Oh. A belly loop belt. <laughs> oh, I've got a little dot on it. Oh, I don't know what no. I did. But you know what? I'll tell Leah it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no. She'll never give you another card again. <laughs> You'll be off her list. <laughs> yeah, I'll be off her list. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to put a little gem over it because otherwise that's going to bother me. Diane, what are you saying? Oh, I love, I see what she's saying. I see. Yeah, my kids love the cards, but it's not something they want to do. I think Josh would do it. Josh, I think Josh would make cards. But Jake and Leah, yeah, I don't think they, <laughs> oh. My tweezers are in my spring bling thing, too. Oh. Hang on a second, because these are really small. Oh, I got another one right here. Because <clears throat> I can't put... So my little dot that I had was right there. There. Fixed it. And Leah's a sparkle girl, so she'll appreciate the... She'll appreciate the little sparkles. Okay, so there we go. Um, and you can tell when I sometimes make cards, like I have only a piece of cardstock, so it's just a card front that actually needs to be attached on. So our two gal cards, I think they turned out pretty good. They turned out really cute, yeah. really cute. Let's go on to our guy truck card. You know what? Did I have... Oh, that's what somebody said. Take a picture of the truck. I wonder what that meant. Um, hang on. I'm getting there. Make sure you take a picture with the truck. So you... Oh, Marion Phillips looks like you started a thought and didn't finish it. <clears throat> okay. So, in here... You have an envelope, a blue layer, a tan layer, and this is from the It's All About the Guys paper pack. Um, and then you have a different set of words. <clears throat> um, why do I have these in here? Oh, I know why I have these in here. <laughs> I forgot just for a minute. Well, actually, I don't remember why I have this piece in here. Well, Stephanie, that's a good idea. She uses her sand eraser when she has to take off a little stuff or looks like ink. Yes, somebody gave me a sand eraser when I was at the retreat, and I didn't know what it was for. And then she posted a thing. It's still in my goodie bag that's at home. Okay. So I have a sand eraser oh. now. Oh. Yeah, I, he I heard that. 
I didn't. I, I, I didn't. I was not familiar with them. I don't. I'm not either. Yeah. <clears throat> so let's see. So this one you could make into a Father's Day card, a birthday card, just a you're a classic, which is birthday. You influence my. Your influence on my life is timeless. Oh, I know what I did. Duh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this long piece. And I did this strip long, like, in case you wanted to cut that as a strip. Um, and then on the inside of the, your card, you have your cream insert, but you could take this and put your words on a strip and kind of mount it inside. So that's what this piece is for. It took me a minute to remember why I did that. So let's attach some of our layers just first. Um, so this piece, your cream, is for your inside. Yay. Done. Where is my tape gun? And then yes, if you wanted, like if you wanted to put happy birthday on the outside and you're a classic on the inside, you could cut a strip, layer it on a piece of blue which you'll cut, and then that can attach to the inside. So then it just kind of all coordinates. So this just attaches on the inside. And then, yes, like I said, you could take and do the You're a Classic or you influ Your Influence on My Life is Timeless, cut a strip, attach it onto there, and then that will attach to the inside of your card. So then let's get these layers on the... Now, this, it's really hard. Um, some pattern papers like I don't take and cut up a whole bunch of pads to get the pattern papers I actually print them out this one was very hard to print and get the color correct or at least on my printer it was so it's like I think this is off right here this is like more tan but whatever I gave up after a little while I'm like Ugh. so we're putting this piece of fossil on the front of your card. <clears throat> and yeah, sometimes I do my layers first and sometimes I do it opposite like I just did. And that's why these are white on the back because I print them versus in the pack of pattern paper, they're two-sided. Anybody else's screen freeze up? Well, I can still see myself working. Oh, that's nice. Oh. I, I can on YouTube, but I can't on Facebook. Oh, now I'm not, now I'm back on Facebook. Okay, good. How is my power doing over there? Is it still um, charged? Is it the little battery? It's still bad. Yeah, you're good. Okay, good. You're good. You're Shoot. Oof, yeah, I know. Um, so this one, <clears throat> you are going to trim it um, to fit on this piece of blue. So, I don't know why I didn't trim it for you. Oh, I know what I was figuring. <laughs> that you, if you trim off the bottom right here, um, so trim just a little bit off the top and then I'll give you the dimension. But this bottom, you might have a layer that can layer on the inside. So you could layer that, you know, your blue, your fossil, your layer of cream words. Um, so that was my thinking of making this big because you could use that on the inside layer or save it for another card. So let's see our truck layer is three and one eighth. Yep. Three and one eighth by by well it says four but I think it has to be a hair smaller than four. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and trim it if you want to wait for me you can. Ranger. Hmm. Yeah, if you want to wait to see if I screw up first, you can do that. 
you know, and we have a paper trimmer, so we could always trim a little bit of the blue if we needed to. What about Ranger? Oh, Ranger <coughs> carries D-rings. Oh, you're looking for your... Yeah. She's looking. <laughs> you guys are, you know, working, 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 and we don't have as many people, so she's over there searching for D-rings for her belt, for her belly bands that she's going to be making this weekend. Heavy duty two and a two and a quarter inch D ring. So <clears throat> again, three and a quarter by four and a sixteenth. Three and a quarter by four and a sixteenth. So really close to your line, but not on <clears throat> your line. And if you want to cut it on the lines, that's fine too. You do you. Okay. And yes, this is totally what I was thinking for this. You could layer this piece on here and you could cut a word to layer on there going all the way across and then that could be a band across there. I'm gonna to wait to decide what I'm gonna do on the inside tell later. But let's go to our coloring. So I'm using, and you can use Copics if you want, you can use chalks, you can use crayons. Oh, and I do have a piece of fossil that I just threw in here. Oh, there it is. So there's my little swatch of fossil. Um, I think One more thing that I'm looking for. Oh, my gelato. So, I colored the whole truck blue. Um, for the white, I would use like a white gel pen, but mine do not work. So I ended up pulling out this gelato. So first I'm gonna color my truck. You, can, you should have a spare piece of fossil that you can test your colors on if you want. And I'm using a Dove Blender and then the blending out my colors that way. So, I don't know why I have that light blue. I think I tried it originally and I didn't like it. But where did my one go that I just was using? It was a dark blue one. Oh, there it is, underneath my, and I don't need that green one. Okay, so I'm just gonna color in my truck these are nice stamps from Impression Obsession. This one is a virtual one. Um, actually, I think I did use this green one a little bit too to get it less blue so it matched the background paper better. But um, this one she has as a virtual stamp. Um, so you can, a digital image, digital image, not virtual. Um, but I like this one because you can just color in the truck. You don't have to worry about coloring everything else. And I don't even think I need to color it in solid because I think I can um, just <coughs> blend it. With my blender. But I am watching some of the lines that I'm like, I'm not going to color over the little mirror or the headlights. I am going to be a little bit of careful around the headlights. But yes, then I'm just going to use a dub blender. So if it looks like I'm doing kind of a sloppy job, I kind of am. And I'm probably not coloring the truck exactly the way it should be colored. So if you're a truck enthusiast, Wendy, if you're out there, I'm probably not doing a great job on the truck. Like those things that I just colored, I think are actually silver. So what is the Dove, what is a Dove blender? A Dove blender 
it is just this thing. There's a fluid on the inside, <clears throat> um, and it for your colored pencils, like you saw, I did that. I just scribbled, <clears throat> and I could scribble with two colors. And then you take your blender, and it's just got this kind of hard tip on it. Like, I, I don't know if it's kind of like Gamasol, where people color with colored, certain color pencils and Gamasol. But see how it blended that out? So these are watercolor pencils. And then I just blend with the Dove Blender. And there is like a refill. And I think there's glycerin in there, but I don't know the exact... Um, I don't know the exact formula for that one. Like these are probably silver, but that's okay. You know, you're gonna give it to a guy, and if he criticizes and says you didn't color your truck right, what happens to him? He's off the handmade card list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How many of you would make like I I would make a card like that had a beer on it or, you know, because I was trying to think like what type of cards can I do for guys. That's why my next card totally has nothing to do with a guy thing, like a truck or hunting or deer or um, golfing or stuff like that um, or tools. But I was looking for like a, a beer set or a beer mug or a keg, <clears throat> something like that. So I might do that in the future. Okay, so now, am I going to use this green a little bit in there just to get it to match the background even though it's probably not a truck color? My dub blender. I'm gonna take. See how that just blends it out. I love my dub blender. You know, I don't because of coloring with Copics. I don't actually pull my pencils out and use them that often. But this was. I just loved it for this card. I mean, my tips are kind of crappy, so it's hard to get. Um, you have to be really light-handed in order to get any detail. But again, it's handmade. It's not going to be perfect. And it's an old truck, <laughs> right? <laughs> Paint job probably isn't great on the old truck anyways. Tools, sports, adult beverages are good for many occasions. Yeah, adult beverages. That's yeah. what I'm thinking. Motorcycle. Where can you get adult blenders? Um... <clears throat> Let me go see what I can find out. Yeah, I'm sure they're probably online a lot. I mean, I would have picked them up when I was at shows. I would have picked them up from Gary Berlin. Otherwise, there was probably some booths that used pencils. And, I mean, because these were the big things back when... Tombow. Oh, yeah, we used to carry those. The blenders? Yeah. Yeah. I remember now. Hobby Lobby blend, blender pen colored pencil. Is that the same thing? I don't know. Maybe they don't make dub blenders anymore. And I bet they do. Type in dub blender, or did you? I, I did. Tombow blender dual brush pen Michaels. <clears throat> I'm sure any of your little mom and pop shops might have them too. If they carry colored pencils, they might have dub blenders. All right. So. I've got, you know, I might have one of those in my quilt card stuff. Yeah. Who knows what I have? <laughs> Who back knows? There. Let's see. Do I want my headlights yellow? I might try yellow headlights. My yellows are kind of. But yeah, I do love my little dub blender. Because dub blender also works great with chalks, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Before. Um, 
before Copets were a thing, that's what you colored with was pencils. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now, you know, you can try a gray. Actually, I might darken up my wheels a little bit, and with that, I am going to pull. So I'm going to co-mingle my um, coloring mediums. I don't know if that's allowed, but don't tell anybody. Just darkening up my wheels. Although they're old wheels, they probably need replacing anyways. Okay, I'm good. Darkened my wheels. Now, this is where I would use like a white or a silver on some of this stuff right here and on the grill. Um, but my white does not work and I don't have a silver. So I, again, I pulled out my white gelato and a Dove blender and I'm just pulling color off of that to get my white on there. So I think a gel pen would be optimal here, especially a silver one, or maybe white on the wheels and then silver on the little hub cap. Um, but you know, you gotta use what's in your stash. I'm sure you guys have a lot of stuff in your stash. Well, I do. <laughs> yeah. So I'm using what I had. I could have went out and tried to find one and buy it, but I knew this would work. This is just a gelato. I don't know. It's some type of pastel pen, I think. Or stick. And I'm just using that because it works. And nobody's going to see mine versus yours. Maybe yours has really beautiful silver on it, and mine doesn't. But nobody's going to see that. So who really cares? And if they care. And if they care, and if they say something, they're off your card list. <clears throat> it's a jalopy. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> So there, Dove blenders or with watercolor pencils. And these are Lyra ones. These are, and well, this one's a Stadler one, but these are pretty cheaper colored pencils, watercolor pencils. So yeah, that's what I like about this stamp because really just the main image is the truck. So you don't have to color all of that other stuff. You certainly can if you want to. And if you want to, you knock your socks off. I am going to just attach this piece on there with adhesive. Nancy Clouds, they don't have any mom and pop shops, so. I know. I know. So then you're forced to buy online or if you've got Michael's close to you or this ribbon you can't hardly see but i did like mount it right across here i covered most of it up with words um if you want to save it for something else you can do that or you can attach it i'm attaching it with tape just so that i want it to lay totally flat uniball signal has great white gel pens also silver and gold but the white are nice and opaque and Oh, that's what I like. So very useful. But, like, I've got gel pens in there, so let's not say that I don't have any gel pens in there. They're just dried up. <laughs> so, yeah. I hate that. All right, so there's that. And we are going to attach that on <clears throat> to the front. I did pop that up. Now, it's up to you. You can leave it flat. This Happy Father's Day I popped up, but I had to do double pop where it was on the outside of the single pop. So depending on what you want to do and if you want to put it more up in the corner, and I'm going to do the my next one as a birthday, you can see it's a little bit more tan. And I did take 
a blending brush and I blended that. And I don't, I don't know if I told you that or not, but I took like a very light tan just to get it. I should have printed it on Sahara, but anyways, I'm going to cut off the happy birthday. This may be Jake's birthday card. He used to have like an old Ooh, truck. Oh, yeah. His birthday's coming up. In May. I think I cut mine too close. I did, but that's okay. You know what? Because A, he's not going to say anything. And B, it just doesn't matter. He's not going to see any the original. And now I'm trying to trim it. So because I cut it so close, I could actually put it down <clears throat> here and just pop that up. Or I could put it, I could do whatever I wanted with it. But I am going to color it a little bit more tan. Or I could probably stamp or print another one if I was really unhappy with it. But I won't do that because you guys don't have the option to do that. Okay, now blending brush in brown, which I was just using. Just very light because you don't want it very dark. Just adding a little color to it. Okay, I am going to pop up my truck. I think I'm going to put mine right in the middle since my words are not going to hang off. I used the smaller one and I cut it too close. I'm going to put mine right in the middle. This one I did put off to the side um, and then I did my Happy Father's Day in the corner. So whatever you want to do, you do. You do you. And I can still pop up my happy birthday. Oh, I have some foam tape on my, oh, I don't think it's gonna come off. It's probably been sitting there for too long on my tape gun. Oops. All right. So if you are just watching tonight, you know, this is going to replay again on Thursday. Or if you're watching the replay, welcome to Thursday. Or whatever day you're watching. Or whatever day you're watching. <laughs> it could be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, right. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, then I'm just going to pop that bugger up there. I've got to get some more foam tape. Okay, so I need a little bit of foam tape. Yep, whatever day you're watching it. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching. <laughs> <clears throat> but if you're watching the taped version, and I'm not here to answer your questions, if you have a question, you can always email me. Because I usually don't get back to the comments very often. And sometimes if you call and leave a message on the phone, sometimes <laughs> we don't get back to those either. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad about my phone. I should just not even have voicemail because so there we go and I like I said I'm gonna save my insides oh very nice I'm gonna save my insides 
And I'm going to save my words in there. So yeah, there we go. Card number three. Done. So do your kids come and get cards for their siblings? Only Josh. Well, Leah sometimes does. Jake does not. Okay. I don't know why, but I know Jake likes my cards, but I don't think he ever thinks. He's not a big card giver, and that's fine. Hmm. Or he remembers it when he needs it, and it's too late to come here because he's on the way to dinner or something. Hi, Brian. Brian Urban. Oh, Brian's on. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> all righty now we're on to our last card oh emails sarah penny blah blah <laughs> oh penny i did get your message um we are good in may though i will need a new a new card from you so i did get your message though honestly i am super bad at listening to voicemail Emails, good. Emails, good. Text, or usually good. Text, good. Phone messages. Phone messages, fail. At your own risk. <laughs> yeah. Leave a message at your own risk, right? <sighs> okay. In this kit, we have, and we're doing a floating acetate card, or the front card is mm -hmm. all acetate. And I did give you two colors. Because after I thought about it, I'm like, eh. I picked that color because it kind of matched, you know, these. And these are out of the guy card. But then I also picked this one and this one. And this one matches really good with that one. Um, and this one's a slightly different brown, too. See, there's different tones of brown in there. So, and then you got Sahara. So if you want to make your card base out of the brown one, you can. This one I had sitting here because I was going to redo this card base out of that. But tonight I am going to use the brown instead of the aqua. So that you have an extra card base in there. You probably have enough stuff to almost make two cards. Well, you have enough, definitely enough strips. Um, you have enough paper in there to make two cards. To make a second card, you would need another piece of acetate and probably another text insert. So, first thing we're going to do is cut off, and that is cut, I believe, at three quarters of an inch. Let me check. Yep, three quarters of an inch. If you want to make it longer or shorter, you can, but we are going to cut from the score. So I'm going to bring my little cutter over here. And from, so this is four and a quarter, and then we need another, so at five inches you'll cut and that will give you three quarters of an inch on one side so at five and that's the card front and then down here i did cut a very small piece so if you want to just and that mine is like a quarter inch but it doesn't really matter All right, so we have our acetate that hangs off a little long, and that's okay. We're going to attach our acetate in there first and then trim a hair off, or you can trim the hair off, and if that ends, depending on your trimmer, if it's a little jig-jaggy, you know, you can attach it down there and just line up the bottom nicely cut edge. So totally up to you what you want to do. I think I'm going to cut a little bit off first in case jig jaggy that is a technical term yeah. <clears throat> so you're going to cut about an i would say cut about an eighth of an inch off Ooh, watch your fingers though Oops. but yeah this is a ooh, where you'll have jig jaggy fingers or you'll have jig jaggy fingers <laughs> this is a thicker acetate this is clear cover so depending on your trimmer, and my trimmer is blade is getting a little duller, it doesn't cut the greatest. And that's why I said you can always put that side in and your nice edge down. 
because I'm going to show you what you can do. <laughs> well, we're going to put a text insert on the inside of there anyways, but, but yeah, I kind of have a jig jaggy edge. I do, and it's okay. We're going to cover that sucker up with our text insert. So now when I'm putting this in there, I'm going to concentrate on just lining my edges up down here instead of push it all the way up <coughs> into the corner. So yes, I think it was smarter to cut about an eighth of an inch off first. And if that edge isn't that great, it's okay. So we're going to put tape on our little partial edge. You know, last night, sir, I was making a belt and I had, had to cut some fabric and I thought, I can just do this like Sarah does. I can just eyeball go it? for it. Oh, eyeball it. How did that work? It worked okay. Good. So yes, I lined up my edges and then I'm <clears> just <throat> gonna fold that in. So, and that my jig jaggy edge. Now you can take and you can use, cut a strip and you can totally cover that up with your matching cardstock. I'm not that worried about it. Um, so I'm just putting a text insert inside there. So I'm folding my, and I'll give you my text insert trick. Fold your text insert. You know, you can use a bone folder. I don't. I just use my finger. It works fine. Um, and then you're going to put adhesive. Now, your text insert doesn't go all the way top to bottom. So don't put your tape edge to edge because you'll have some tape exposed. So you want to kind of put it in there and look, you need to stop about a quarter inch before each edge. But I like to put my tape, if I have a half inch tape, I can do it right on top of the score and then I end up with tape on both sides of the score. If I'm using my quarter inch gun, I'll go and I'll put one line of tape on one side of the score and one line of tape on the other side of the score. Then you're going to hold this at a 90 degree angle. Take your folded text insert with the fold and put that right into that 90 degree angle. I don't do it when it's open because I could go past that score and then I'll get bumpelies on the inside. So hold it at your 90 degree angle and put your fold right into your score, which has tape on it. Then you're going to fold it down and then you have your nice text insert on the inside. See, then you can't tell that you're, you are maybe jig jaggy. It just doesn't matter. Um, this piece I'm going to put at the bottom just because I want my bottom to match. And that's up to you. If you don't want your bottom to match or you don't care, you don't have to. But then I'm going to build my card from that. And I did cut most of these pieces to a half an inch, I think. Let's see. What did I cut them at? Yes, I cut all of my strips to a half an inch, except for this one when I got down to the bottom. I didn't quite have enough room, so I cut it a little bit smaller. But I'm going to attach this one on there first because then I have a guide. I'm filling up this much space. Oops. Too big a tape gun. Did I tell you we were going to be done early today, Mom? No, I okay. knew we were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've stopped doing that because I'm usually wrong. Oh, well, the guesstimators sometimes don't work quite. <laughs> we, we don't want them to work so so, so Brian Urban I see you here a lot <laughs> both in person and online I want to know how many cards you make <laughs> <laughs> no we just want to see what we're saying about you <laughs> welcome Brian maybe he's just seeing what we all do with all the stuff that he die cuts well that could be too and cuts we are so grateful for your technique abilities and creativities in the shop. All right, so now cut a bunch of um, 
half inch strips. So, and you do have two colors of brown now. Um, and you know, that other color brown, what other color brown? I had a different color brown that I was playing with and I was like, oh, I should have put that in the kit. I think this taupe would have been really, no, not that one. Or was it this one? I don't know. If you have another medium brown, that, that would be nice too. But you can cut some half inch strips. And really, I didn't repeat, except for I've repeated one, so I'm going to throw that one aside. That was, the one that I threw aside was the one that was on the, so you don't need to cut a ton of them, but like I said, you have an extra card base and you have enough paper to make more, or another card if you want. So half inch, Sarah can't measure a half an inch right now. All of a sudden, I'm feeling hot. I don't know why. I'm over there, I am. And if you don't want to, what? I could cool you down. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't want to use the two teal ones, you can use just go to the browns. But this one matched like the little colors in there really oh, well, so that's those. why I used that. So these are two and an eighth. Um, and you could cut those teal ones smaller if you, you know, didn't want that much teal. There's nothing that says you have to do it at a half an inch. Wonderful cards, Sarah. Kathleen Ressler Moore. Oh, thank you. Thank you for sharing your time and your ideas. You should see the one that Kathleen did. She showed me she did a fractured card using pattern paper and it is amazing so if you know how to post that as a comment kathleen you should you should post it because it's like an awesome card so yeah these are all two oh this one's a two inch strip so yeah measure what they are before you actually start cutting so yeah the fractured card that she did for her granddaughter so amazing. beautiful. What? Amazing. Let me, let me know if she posts it. Did I she? Will. Okay. She used a pattern paper pack from Impression Obsession. I think I have enough strips. I might cut one of these too, just in case. Just in case I don't have enough strips. So that means if Brian was on, that means he made it home on his motorcycle in the wind. Oh, the wind. The wind here in Appleton was awful today. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's probably 57 degrees and it felt like 43. So you can do these in whatever order, but I like to kind of lay them out before I actually place them on. And I might not use both teal ones. I might just, since I'm more concentrating on brown, I just might use one teal one. But yeah, kind of do your placement first to decide what you're doing. And also, like this, if you don't want, like if you don't want a Father's Day card, you're just going to take one of these strips and kind of cover that up. So Kathleen's trying to figure it out. Okay. That also might affect, you know, what order your paper is going in also. Yeah, the card that Kathleen did. Hmm. Kathleen, you're on both our virtual classroom and our regular classroom. Hmm. I'm on all three, but it's interesting the way people look at you, Sarah. They look through virtual and through your regular Facebook page and through... They're all over? They're all over. 
That's okay. Oh, it, That's is, it is okay. It's yeah. wonderful. I don't think I'm going to use the star one, actually. I think I'm going to skip the star one and go with the other one. Okay. So I might have to trim one as they get down. So I leave a little space of acetate in between each one. Um, and I might trim this one a little bit narrower. Such creativity. Okay. So now we can push these off to the side and then just start attaching them. And yeah, once you get to the end, if you're running out of space, you're just going to trim a little bit. And actually I might take and do an extra one of these. Because you can make a repeating pattern if you want. Uh oh, Penny's phone is running out of juice. Oh, bummer. Yeah, that's always a bummer. I have to remember to take my chargers along this week. Oh, yes. You too. Mm -hmm. I actually have them on the counter already. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna start attaching. If I can even pick them up with my fingernails. Sometimes it's easier to just turn them all over, put tape on all of them at one time. Well, except for maybe your last one, because you don't know if you might need to trim it. These, I do like to put my adhesive end to end so they stick all the way down. 82. It was like 79 here yesterday, but 82 was today. Was it 79? It was 79 yesterday. Was it really? Yes. It was like summer. Perfect. That's a perfect day for me. I like 75 to 85. No humidity. But today, different story. 82 is perfect, Bobby Kendall. Oh, yummo. Penny Blaylock said she did a card like this on acetate, but there was a saying in the middle with the strips coming out of the center, like the rays of the sun. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Okay, so now I'm just going to start attaching. Attach them like flush to one edge, and then you can always um, trim the other one if you want. And in between each one, you can, I usually leave about a sixteenth of an inch, but, um, oh, Leslie's on. We're going to see you, Leslie. Where do you see that? I don't see that. I see that. Oh, okay. I don't know where I see it. You can see more than I can see. I'm just watching. I'm only watching Facebook. Okay. But yes, we are going to see. So I have a little bit more gap space between my um, this one versus my original. So I probably won't fit as many on there here. I'm going to do start going a little bit closer. Oh, Kathleen, she posted it on Facebook. Uh, under your own page, Kathleen? <clears throat> or maybe she posted it on the fan page. Okay. Let me go there. I don't know. I'll try and find it. I mean, I have it on my phone because you messaged me with it. Now, see if I can post it. All right, so if you need to trim off one side, trim that off. I think I'm going to pull out a scissors and trim off. I've got one that I can feel is sticking out on here. 
that and the by strips much. were different thicknesses like right like a quarter of an inch a half an inch five eighths of an inch yeah on this one they're all a half an inch except for down here when I had to trim it on this one I made them slightly different and my gaps didn't ended up being different so it doesn't really matter it's not it's not like it has to be anyway so if you want to leave this as a Father's Day card you can if you want to put a strip up there or you can just tie your um, knot up there but if you want to cover up the dad then you just cover that up so then you can just use it for whoever you want so I thought that was kind of a good option I'm actually going to cut that a little bit thicker. <clears throat> so, so I just took that medium, more medium-ish brown, cut that a little bit thicker, or a half an inch does work too. and I just attached it edge to edge. And I left a little brown tan up at the top, which is Sahara. And then I'm just gonna chop it off. Now if you want, and I didn't put this in the thing, but after I was done, I added some gold, like I took my gold jelly roller and I went like this and just did hash dot, hash dot, hash dot, hash, dot, hash. And you don't have to. I think I just put my twine too far up and I needed to fill in the bottom somehow. And that's why I did that. Some things are totally uh, to cover up something else. And then you're gonna take your piece of jute and I, <coughs> I thought I had some narrower jute but I couldn't find it. So this is a little bit wider jute than I like because it's a little bit harder to work with. Kathleen posted and she tagged the paper cut, Sarah, so you should be able to find it. Oh, okay. Well, she messaged me, so I'll okay. find it, Kathleen. I'll post it. Um, or I'll put it on the fan page. Or maybe I'll do both. If you don't mind. I'll put it on the paper cut regular page. Okay. That's what I'll do. It's not quite as tight as I want it on the back, but that's okay. Okay, now this piece I did attach on with foam tape. And if you put a little bit of foam tape above the jute and then below the jute, you know, and then around, then your jute, then it's gonna stay in place. So I'm for sure putting some up at the <clears throat> top. Kathleen says, thank you for being so kind, Sarah. Mm -hmm. See, I just give you guys the ideas and then you run with it. That's kind of, you know, the classes and the crafter's classroom and, you know, I just give you my take and then you guys just go with it and do your own great creations. That's what my dance instructor says too. That's what he says too? Yeah. You do you. He and he just gives you the base and mm -hmm. however <laughs> however what How, however um i don't know He always says, a leader leads 
a leader indicates a turn, a spin. And if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Spins and turns are always optional. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do it, <laughs> then it's like, well, why didn't you do that? <laughs> well, because it's optional, Chuck. Right. So, yeah, I think I like the brown one better. You know, or you could do the blue one and do it with all the blues. And oh, then I like the make, brown one better, too. Yeah. For a guy car, I, I think I like the brown one better. Mm -hmm. um, but, yes, if you wanted to do the teal one and you wanted to stick with just the tealy paper and the extra paper that you have here and this one, that would be a more, you know, beachy or just an everyday, you know, for whoever card. Yep. But for the... For the guy card, I like the brown one better. And I threw that one in there last minute, and I'm so glad I did. Oh, I am too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, yes, I, I definitely it's like the brown great, one better. Great guy card. Mm -hmm. So, that was our class for today, and thank you all for joining me. Oops, let me get the cards back out here. Um, this will replay on Thursday. But thanks for, you know, any of you that could join me tonight. And if you're on on Thursday, thanks for joining too. Or whatever day, like my mom said. So, anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. And we will see you actually. Watch for me tomorrow in Crafter's Classroom because I will put my, um, I will show my May cards. So, anyways, see you later. Have a great night. Bye, guys. Good night.